So not a sweet pairing, no creeps next to next to Enchantress. So how do we approach now? We can uh, start a line refuge, but I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. I guess the Enchantress is about to die in two turns. He does have 80 da way, ways how to do push 80 damage. He has Disciple and Oath, oh my god. So I cannot even abandon the lane. That's really bad. Okay, luckily he didn't win the flip, so we are about to trade here. It's double, double, double track. So if I start a line refuge here, I take six. I'm always gonna die. So it doesn't matter. So I keep, keep star align plus uh, plus uh, something for later. Like star align into standard height could be something which could carry. So now it's gonna be difficult where to put a parallax. Like, uh, I can put him in a bottom line. Like the issue I have putting him in front is he can dwell him away. So I would love to dodge the black hero, but he can be ganked. But here I'm not gonna have a hero. And he also needs to put Legion Commander here, which he should probably. If I put Prolex here, then I have one to three chance to be paired against against the, the Phantom Assassin. And also the issue I got with this play is like maybe I can play Portal. And reinforcement, I can play the next turn, but no, then this tower wouldn't have armor for the next turn. Okay, let's just do this. Like front, I would love to have him the most, but but the duel is probably then argument. So, oh my god, this is a slaughter. Three of my heroes are about to die now. So do I like Vanguard? Probably I do. I need to just do something. It's just a random creep, but... So here, do we want to put armor somewhere? Probably we have to on the front line. Because we don't want to go there against the Bristol. That would be nonsense. So now we can cast. Like at the start. Um, okay, so he used the duel to make the green hero, uh, the black hero alive. So now what? We can give up this line. That's probably a legit play, I guess. So we are about to deploy one blue hero. So giving up this line and hope, hope he doesn't have. No, I have to play the creeps. Like this is pushing for 11. This is too strong. I could have an arrow to kill him anyway. Like I will, I will lose this line, but for a card, I will. I will slow him down at least for a turn, maybe for more. Now he cannot use the artillery because this creep is unblocked. I'm not sure if I wouldn't put it somewhere else. So how many short swords does he have? So here the Zeus would die, so there's nonsense to put him here. I can put him... Like here I don't have a spell and I actually don't have that many spells in my deck. So I try to defend frontline. This is not a huge fan of this pairing. So I put Cloak to not die immediately to to dwell. So now his shop is basically sold out. And the issue is he gonna put the Cloak everywhere. So now the Thunder Gods is not gonna do much. But this, this line I can hold. Like, I have uh, six mana twice to work with. So I can, let's say, put Soothsayer plus uh, Verdant. Like, the issue is, like, he can really go for 80 here if I will not pay enough attention. So 
So next turn, if I put green and blue hero, I can put Soothsayer and inter Intervention on this line. Well, there will be quite a hard fight against the Disciple, so... Like, my plan is to win late game, somehow. Like, he has double Steam Cannon and Coops. So, obviously, it's not that... Not that... Great, but... In terms of late game, but... Like, now he basically shot everything down. Like, we need to be uh, crossing our fingers, he will not get an item on left uh, left side. Like Helm of Dominator or the 25, go uh, any of 25 items. So he will save this hero as well. So there's the unblocked creep, so this is, this is... Now he can use it. He will save, I guess, all of these. So our shopping is quite simple. So I definitely put Prelex here and one green hero. The question is, shouldn't I play both green heroes there? But I guess I need to cast a spells. But I rather switch them this way. So now we have to be ready against the coop. So if we start with Star Alignment and he kills the green hero, then it's really bad. What we can do is we put uh, Intervention and then we cast Star Align and Thunder Height. Or we can just untap and play the Soothsayer and play Star Align Thunder Height here. Okay, let's start with Intervention. Like, uh, the issue is the blue creep will not get intervated, but the way, big advantage is, like, he could start with a coop on a, on a blue hero. So now, we can just untap and play the Soothsayer and play the Thunderhide here, I guess. Or we can play the Thunderhide immediately. Like, he doesn't run a slay. But I guess we need more cards. Simply, so I put a Soothsayer. But next turn will be like very difficult because this line can just explode. Like everything he has here is super, super strong. Like here the Refuge is quite appealing, but I have to say... Like now if you use a coup on blue here, I can go pack, that's fair. But I can also just immediately kill the Bristol back with it. So now he's ganging the green hero. Basically means I have I have no play to do here. I really think I need more cards. Like here I never go for 80 damage. So I, I, I want to win with both these lines. And in order to win this line, I need more cards. That's pretty simple, I feel. I put it here because then it's about to get some regen. And we have a lot of mana to work here. <sighs> but like, what I'm worried about is he can just... Like, he already used the Disciple, so he, can, um, he has to use the Oath in case he would like to push really fast here for 80. So second artillery is 29. If he if Bounty got luckily pushed, it's 33. Uh, but then one short sword is gonna make it. So yeah, this line is kind of looking quite good. And here I feel like we are winning as well. Like it's really lucky that uh, that you know he's having an edge on the third line. Uh, so in case he has something like. Steam Cannon, then he cannot use it from the first line to the other. So now, hopefully, it, he will not push me. And he does not. Okay, that's sweet. So he's just running away with everything because he wants to kill me with both artilleries and the creeps. I think it will actually work for him, I guess. Or. So those I want to put here. Like now he has five creeps, so there's no way I can stop he him here, which is pity. Like he's one up, up one zero, and 
it's enough it's enough for him to win one of these two lines only and now I'm missing here the, the green hero to fight back so thunder god is killing the phantom assassin like going here for 80 how realistic it is So if we go star align, well, okay, now we need to do some real swing turn. He could go enough magic, but he has only one copy. I don't think I can play around everything all the time. Good. I go sell a man. I can end up twice, right? So I put thunder height and just pack and go somewhere else, right? So this line is over and pushing here for 8 is pretty naive, so... Like maybe or with Thunder Height I could do go for that, but I can just put Barracks here. So now he used the duel. So Thunder Height is... Can it get a Bristol? Or do I even want to kill the Bristol? Maybe I should want to play Vanguard and put a Tan Heart somewhere else. Okay, let's just do that. So now I need to work hurry. So do I want to keep Green Hero here or do I want to run away? This is about to die. I have 40 HP, that's fine. And he, he's gonna lose here. He doesn't have a slay in his deck. He cannot duel this away. So Thunder Thunder of Breath is killing killing the Phantom Assassin. It's about to die anyway. Maybe I should play Barracks rather than killing. Like this this is about to die anyway. Barracks here helps a lot. So this is about to die. I already have extra creep next turn here. So we are pushed here, that's so this. So it's kinda on the edge, like now two of my heroes are about to arrive. Like here, I believe the push will carry, the creeps will carry. Okay, now I don't mind these arrows, like, I've never pushed here for 80 and I have a faith that uh, at some point I will win here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get any, any green card uh, we can cast, so reinforcement is the play here. So he's running away with Bristol. Like now the arrow is a little bit petty because uh, now really it would be handy to push that, uh, that tower. Obviously I use Salaman here as well. So if he has a coop, then it's a little bit annoying because he can push here. So now, with the off, can he push me here away? Okay, he used the off here. So it's kind of super all in. Now he's not allowed to cast any spells here anymore, ever. Not sure. Like, I, I would probably keep it and put the black hero here and try to have two turn clock. Like, now this is super all in for him. On the other hand, both of my... Both of my heroes died, so... This is fighting against the Oath is also not that simple. So I need to send everything here, that's clear. Should I put one blue hero here? Like, I didn't get the second Thunder God, so... Maybe, maybe, but... Now it's too late to think about it. So 
We have 11 mana to work. Can we kill something? Can't, and everything is about to die. It's pretty sad. Like, he cannot cast any spell. So I think we can put all creeps. And then next turn Armed Rebellion. So this can kill the creep. I need to dodge it. This arrow is obviously super unlucky. So it suits there. So next turn eight four creeps are about to come through. It looks like we will lose, but uh, not 100% convinced. It also depends what we draw a lot. Like this line will never, never be pushed in time. It might be pity. Maybe we, if we could put one blue hero here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Didn't necessary to think about it. Obviously, the fact that I'm drawing way more per turn is really huge. And now he's not cast, allowed to cast any spells. Have this in mind as well. So now what? We have 12 mana to work, so we can play everything. There's not that much thinking I need to do. And like, the good thing is that... You can push him in front, right? Is that, uh, that this green here is not about to die? We can put the mist, which at seven. Okay, now his helm of dominator. My God, it's terrible. Bought it from the side shop, and he can just steal this creep and have a little. Ah, that's disgusting. Because now I would put mist, I would add 7 plus 3 hero is 10, so it's 36. Um, it be 36 plus, uh, plus 14. It's 50 before anything, yeah. I think we would have a little in front, or maybe we could have won here, but like the Helm of Dominator out of the side side shop, that's exactly what we were talking about. Super close game. Like, without the Nominator, like, we could also put a mist here, I, I think we would win. Or we could play thunder, double Thunder God from the front line, with that uh, on top. And killing this hero, this hero, this hero and this hero, so... So actually, yeah, if we wouldn't have a Dominator, we would win easily. That's pretty annoying. Like... Maybe what we fucked up is that we maybe should have put one blue hero in the front line previous turn. 